Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. My name's Alice and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am playing Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on PS2. This is for the 1st of September, the Back to Hogwarts day, and you can probably already tell I am wearing my Slytherin tie. I have to say, this is probably one of the most frustrating games for me to play. So I feel like this game specifically is like so long-winded especially the lessons as well on top of that it's probably goblet of fire for the ps2 i was originally planning to play philosopher's day for ps1 and i would have had the ps1 game in my ps2 but for some reason it didn't want to work so here i am with a chamber of secrets so let's start a new game Ron, Fred and George rescued Harry from the Dursleys and obviously took their dad's flying car. Well, here it's obviously just Ron it seems. Welcome to the borough, Harry. And that is the Weasley's home. Did any of you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? Beds empty, no note, car gone. Oh, Mom, I out of my mind with worry. Did you care? Never, as long as I've lived. But Mom, now get outside and start denoming. I've had it up to here with all of you. Except you, of course, Harry. I'm not cross with you. Of course, except Harry. You know, she, she loves Harry, like her you own child. Do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Well, I'm not sure, Ron. I've been with Dursley so much this summer, I'm a little rusty. I don't think he ever has denoed. I don't particularly like the camera angles with this game, but with the Prisoner of Azkaban game, you actually can turn the camera. With this one, you can't. Wow, that was so funny. Bertie bots beans are found in all kinds of places. They can be used to trade with Fred and George when you reach Hogwarts. You've got a Bertie bots every flavour bean. Yes. Keep collecting the beans, Harry. They'll come in very useful at Hogwarts, won't they, Fred? They certainly will. Especially useful for us. There are gnomes everywhere. Look, they're up in the rafters. <laughs> How the okay, hell Harry, did they get up there? The and flipendo them off the rafter. <laughs> I mean, to get up there, like, you have to go outside and. Even Harry can't even get up there. Let's just prioritise getting these beans instead of helping them. I mean, it. I mean, it is their house. Shouldn't they do it themselves? And Harry can just not do anything as usual. At least he gets beans from that as well. But I think I want to focus more on trying to get the beans. Are there any more? Oh, that no, that was good, it. Harry. You've got the little pests on the run. Yeah, now we have to go and get them again and throw them over a down wall. Oh, there's a wizard's card up there, but yeah. Harry, we'd like you to meet our washing machine. Huh? Right charming. Now it's anything but charming. This is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. Yeah, because um, their dad, Arthur, he is fascinated by 
muggle artifacts, like muggle objects. Like the washing machine. And obviously he tried charming it to do god knows what. And it turned into that. What is with the dramatic music though? Yeah, she would totally freak out. Well, how long have they been there? What you have to do is flip Pendo them until they're dazed and confused. Wow, I've got to try this. Then you grab hold of them and spin them round. And just and throw them over the, the wall. Nice one. We're heading that way for miles. All right, so Fred's score is 125, so I guess I'll have to try and beat that. Um, I don't know how long I'll actually play for because this is a four to six hour game I think so I will either do maybe half of it or some of it and then I'll do the rest another time. Alright. Oh really? Well I've done it in the past so I'm sure I can do it again. Or not. Yeah, pick them up, spin them round, and chuck them out the garden. That that's what I'm doing. Oh really? I wouldn't beat his score. My second throw and I beat it. This is uh, technically their job, you know, they have to do this. You know, they are the ones that, I don't know, stole a flying car, um, destroyed a window, and then flew all the way back with Harry. To be honest, at this point, I don't really care where I throw them. Oh, is that it? It's I'm the only one that did the job. Oh, God. Oh, yes, another problem we'll have to deal with. Good, very look, huh? I think Ginny's the only one that doesn't actually like him. Well, the only girl that doesn't like him. Alright, so let's end the day. Mrs. Weasley woke them all early the following Wednesday. She took a flower pot off the kitchen mantelpiece and everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never travelled by flu powder before. And they didn't seem to realise. the powder into the fireplace he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. <coughs> Diagon Alley! It felt as though he was being sucked down a giant plug hole. Harry he said it a lot better than he did in the movie, though. The whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop. And then, he fell. And died. The end. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Oh yeah, he just this casually or gave it away, but he just casually falls through fire, unharmed. Like, that wouldn't usually work. Like, how would you even miss fire? Like, his robe would have caught fire. It would have. I always wondered, if Harry did die, 
you know, without Voldemort using the killing curse on him, would that mean that the Horcrux inside him would go? Or did Voldemort have to use the killing, killing curse on him to destroy the Horcrux? What was that one breath? Touch nothing, Draco. Ah, Mr. Borgir. Mr. Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. The Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids, and I have a few more uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Oh, yes. Items. He why does that look more like Filch than anything? Or Filch's twin or something. Good day, Mr. Yeah, a book might embarrass him. And it was an educational book as well, so I'm not surprised that it would embarrass him. A whole giant book and the only thing he finds is a Lumos spell. You could have found so much you could have found so many more spells. Uh -oh. Imps. Better watch out. And the trick with this bit I found is to just stay still. Just stand right there, don't move, and it'll be fine. Like they won't hit you. Would help if I actually remembered to aim. But I think the most stressful part of this game might actually be the Forbidden Forest and probably the lessons as well. Not sure which one would be most frustrating, probably the Forbidden Forest. I think as a kid this game probably scared me. Like, there are just some parts to it that are just terrifying. Although I, I don't really see the need for the dramatic music at random points, like the washing machine part. Yes, and Hedwig brings Harry a note to tell him to feed her. I think that says something. You know, she has to tell him when to feed her. It's probably the most unstable building in the whole game. It's funny because in, in the first sort of movie, book, whatever way you want to look at it, it's always like, oh my god, Harry Potter. Yet it, now it's more of, oh my god, Gilderoy Lockhart. And now we have to... Yet you were standing there the whole time. Don't look very happy. The flu powder went wrong, and I dropped all my things in the fireplace as I passed. Would you like me to go and look for them? That's so kind of you, Harry. But I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, grade two. How did he memorize what's on his school list, though? I wouldn't even remember. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the heart when you used the flu powder. A silver sickle. Just a, si just a single sickle. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go to Flourish and Blots. And they walk off extremely slowly. Yeah, I don't know either, Harry. Really? She couldn't walk around me or whoever that is. You're lucky I have terrible aim. Can I? Can you? Okay, there you go. They're walking so slow. But it's the way like, Molly just stares at him. Ah, uh, yes. Can you, excuse me, you can go around me. This is the shop I do not like. 
Oh, I can go in there now. I'd rather not. Not, not until I have to. Um, which I think is to get one of Ginny's things. Yeah. Let me guess. I have to go in the shop, get a book for a spe for a stronger flipendo spell, and then come out here. All right. That guy just walked straight through there. Is there any point in talking to you? I can just go straight in. But I'm also going to waste time stealing things from inside the shelves. Yes, we get um, the beans from this. And then I think you just won't be able to get any more when it gets to 50. Another frustrating thing about this game, the ghosts. Like, okay, Harry, we get it. They are beans. I don't get why you're so excited. I mean, Ron being excited by the beans, fair enough, but... Right, we're nearly at 50. Is that guy alright? He's just coughing. I'd put a mask on, actually. Another every flavor bean. Probably why no one's actually in the shop. So I hear him coughing and stay away. Alright, let's go and get this book. Are you okay? Yep, I want it. Yeah, that's what the one sickle was for. Thank you. With the knowledge contained, okay. you may be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand. Just for him. When the spell is ready. Would he say this to anyone else? Okay, thank you. Yep, that will automatically go there, I think, so we don't really need that. Well, Harry, did you get your book? Yes, Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Wow, he's Where motivated. Things, I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and James. I can't tell if she's... I can't tell if she's looking at Harry like she absolutely loves him. Or she's just trying to figure him out or something. Yes, because you can't do it yourself, can you? Maybe I don't want to. But I have to, because I need the money. Are you even going to watch? Are they... Oh no, they actually are. Okay. You satisfied now? I've entertained you enough. Okay, well, I'm... I'll go in there a little bit later. I think one of Ginny's stuff is in there, actually. But there is some money lying around somewhere. I think it's over here, maybe? No, that's the way to the Leaky Cauldron. I don't want to go there yet. So I'll go this other side. So I know there's some money in the barrels over here so why is Gringotts closed though like it's locked is that why there's just money lying around because they knew they knew the famous harry potter was coming to diagon alley but they were understaffed or something and here i need to buy potion vial and then fill it with the potion excuse me how much is this potion vial Eight. Talking about good prices going up. Now I have three left. Brilliant. Thank you. You're very welcome to fill your potion. Oh, I will. That will come in handy later. Thanks very much. Hopefully, if I can figure out why the philosopher's stone didn't work, then hopefully I can play it eventually. But I think it's the PS1 thing because obviously the PS2 games are working perfectly fine. A 
the sickle. Okay, Harry, we get it. You're rich. Do I even need the money now? No, but I think I can get some stuff from uh, that shop I forgot the name of. Alright, I think eight will do for now. I probably won't need anything else, but maybe we should go in here quickly. Get it out of the way and you'll know what I'm talking about, about why this bit's kind of scary. I think my PlayStation 2 is actually suffering with the... Can't you do two things at the same time? It's called customer service. What is that? So it's some sort of poisonous slug or something. Right, well I'm coming in anyway, so... And I don't really care. I need to get Ginny's things. If I'm careful, I should be able to creep past him. I take it asking politely won't work. Or I could just dis distract him. Oh, shoot. All right, I'll go around here. Ah, okay. No. Hang on, didn't Hermione buy Cryptshanks from here? At least he can't take house points. All he can do is just attack me. Right, where is he? Let's bring him over here. And then I will go over here and press the button. No, you won't. Oh, God. No, move. Harry, if Harry didn't turn around, I would have got that. I wouldn't have to do that again, will I? I'm blaming Harry for that one. He turned around and that slowed me down. You're being quiet. You're just being an idiot. If you didn't turn around, we would have got in. You know what? Just going to run. And we're in. Alright, let's get these brass scales or whatever Harry said they were. Yeah. Right, now we have to go all the way back. And that should be easy enough. Well, instead of going to a cutscene to watch him go that way. We, we already did that, Harry. You're way too behind. Yep. Honestly, I kind of feel bad for that guy. Maybe the kids that go in there are difficult or something. Maybe they take animals back because... I know Hermione, I'm pretty sure Hermione got Crookshanks from that shop. Unless they had new management. How Four sickles, okay. I'll take that. Right, ink. Oh, quill. Oh, ink and quill then. Let's go to the leaky cauldron. And who are we gonna find in there? None other than Rubius Hagrid himself. Hi, Hagrid. Okay, but I thought you were supposed to come and help me. You know, weren't you supposed to be going there for that slug stuff? No, you just... Why is he standing like that? Excuse me, I'm having a private conversation with Hagrid. Go away. No, I didn't mean to hit you. I'm not hitting you. Goodbye. The leaky cauldron is the finest thing 
finest pub in London, Harry. It's got a huge cellar, you know. Well, was that supposed to be a hint to go into the cellar basement place? Oh, look, one sickle. Well, we've lost the sickle, and now we're trapped down here. But of course, Harry is smart enough to get himself out of these situations without having Hermione help him all the time. All right, we need to get these into the cages, which will probably get the um, wizard's card for it anyway, but may as well. Oh yes, that wasn't convenient at all. And we have the spellotape, tape, which means we can go to Hogwarts. Okay, let's go back to Molly and Ginny. I found all your things, Ginny. Oh, Harry, you're so wonderful. No, really, it was nothing. You're it really such was a nothing. Boy, Harry. You oh really my god. A famous witches and wizards card. What about your family? What do they what do they deserve? Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Gilderoy Lockhart signing copies oh, of no. his latest book in Flourish and Gloss. We were thinking of going in to see him. Would you like to come with us, Harry? No. Oh. Uh well okay then. Thanks. Let's go inside. Okay, but Ginny, you're not supposed to like him. You're supposed to like me. Because I am the boy who lives. Like me. Let's go inside. Oh, okay. Great Scott! Is that? Nope. It's, it's Harry Potter! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. You loved that, didn't you, Potter? Yes. Famous Harry Potter. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. Here, girl, take this one. The way Jenny just holds it's the it. least I can do to help out the poor and needy. Don't even check it, just accept it and leave. Let me give you some coaching, Harry. Oh no. The guy's still coughing in the background. Is he okay? Why didn't they go together? I, I swear, unless Molly forgot them or something. But I'm very surprised she forgot Harry. Only just realised that he was gone. Why don't we just walk together? You know, it's right there. We could have walked together, but okay. Ready to go to Hogwarts, Harry? I suppose so. Oh, oh yeah, that isn't, you know, completely obvious at all. We're not even that far from the ground. And there goes Ron. Look, where did he even go? How would he have survived a fall like that? Okay, but couldn't he have just gone around the tree? I mean, it's a tree, right? You could have just 
gone around it, I don't know. Alright, so we have to go and save Ron from the Whomping Willow without falling or being killed or getting lost or any of that. Okay, but I, even though the dramatic music for this bit is sort of necessary, I don't like it when, you know, these random bits of tree just comes up at me. It's just, that is part of the scary bit. You, you barely touched it. I uh, also have to change the batteries in my camera. Uh, okay, hit, hit that, okay. Oh, that didn't work very well. Okay, pick that up, don't die. Okay, you're gonna need to wait for it to... Oh, the... I'm already frustrated at the site. This, no, get out of the way. You will die. Okay, this is probably one of the most frustrating bits for me because one, Harry keeps going over to the wall and I need him to pick this thing up. Okay. And now he eats it off the... Okay. Oh no, that's grew that grew back. Just just go. Alright, we're gonna have to deal with um those goblin things again in a minute. And sort of those misty wolf fog things. You'll see them in a minute, but I don't like doing those things either. I can't be the only one that gets frustrated at these um camera angles. I'm probably going to have to use that Wigan World potion in a minute. Because Harry is not doing very well right now. Health wise. Wait, was that a healing thing? Yeah. But how did that just suddenly move to block my way if it didn't move before? I mean, it didn't exactly block my way. Because it's helpful but still oh and another wizard's card i feel like i haven't got this many before in my other times of playing it okay we need to go over here i think first we need to get over there ah there's another tree here to climb over And that should give us an owl tree, if I'm right. Oh, no, okay. We get a chocolate frog, but you know what? I'm not complaining. I need one right now. That was a good idea, right? Why do I feel like I've gone the wrong way? Wait, maybe I don't need an owl tree. Yeah, it's just a warning, so it's it's fine, isn't it? And I can just come down here. These are the things I meant. Alright, that's one down, and there's the other one. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Another one came back. Is that... Is that it? Is that all of them? Oh, thank God. Yeah, that, that bit used to scare me a lot more when I was younger. All right, and yeah, we, oh, okay, got attacked already. And we have to deal with these goblin things again. This bit is also quite frustrating. Oh, I got past. All right, great, I need, to get the potion. So I'll take that now and then I can fill it up for another time. Um, I have a feeling this is the bit where I have to save Ron. 
Really? Mm. Okay. What do you mean, what kept me? Yes, there is a literal eye right behind you. I'm sorry, but he must have got some sort of brain damage or something from that. I ain't mean, being shaken around like that. Seriously, I don't know what he meant by, like, what took you so long? Because I was trying not to be killed by this tree and the damn goblin things. And now this tree as well. Well, same tree, but... Oh, why did I forget for a second I was supposed to hit the eye? Alright, I think maybe one more hit would do. Alright, can I... I want to try and get those healing things. Alright. You good, Ron? Thanks, Harry. Much it should be. Ron just drinks us. Stop pushing me around. I'm the boy who lived. I will tell you what to do. Ron is just a sidekick. Although, to be honest, Ron deserved a lot better than what he got. Or maybe he's waiting to hear why you two didn't arrive on the Hogwarts Express. That's not Snape. Professor Snape, we, uh, we were... In my search of the grounds, I noticed that considerable damage seems to have been done to a very valuable whomping... Well, you shouldn't have made it so violent. ...speaking with Professor McGonagall. Nah, she won't punish them. Silence. I would advise you both to make your way immediately to the Gryffindor common room. But Professor Snake, we go and count yourselves lucky. If I should catch either of you out after tonight, I will definitely deduct house points. Maybe I don't want to go back to the common room. Why don't you, why can't we just walk? I mean, what, why run? For some reason, in these games, it's hard to outrun, run, outrun, run. Get to your common room, Potter. Get to your dungeon, Professor. I can't hit you, okay. Mr. Potter. He broke character for a second then. Go to your common room. No. Nearly had the snack. How are you? Glad to be back at home. No. Well, I would be Nick if Professor Snape had been caught me outside. Hang on, has Dobby well, even been mentioned? Are there for a reason? Although sometimes the reason escapes me. Yes, yes. You shouldn't be up this late, you know. Better get back to the Gryffindor common room before Professor Snape catches you. Then why are you talking to me? Bye, Nick. Okay, let's go to the seventh floor. Where else would we go? You, you saw that, right? I swear. Like, Ron just came up here and then jumped or glitched over there. Where's Hermione been in all of this? So Dobby wasn't mentioned. I don't think we've seen Hermione. And Hermione was the one that fixed Harry's glasses in the, in the movie. You just, you just got there. You haven't even tried. How am I to know that you two aren't Slytherins disguised as Gryffindors? Because we don't look like gorillas, that's how. And it's Harry Potter. There you are. Someone said you'd be expelled for crashing a flying car into the Wanting Willow. Well, we haven't been expelled. Clearly. Look, just tell us the new password, Hermione. Oh, very well then. It's Wattlebird. 
Why did you just leave me? I really don't know either. Alright. So if it's not Ron bossing me around, it's Harry. Bird. Thank you. Alright, time for bed. Hey Harry, or not. George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. That's nice. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Liberty Gibbet. Kind of a weird password. Oh, Watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. And why is he studying that late at night? You in the common room later. It's funny that everyone just forgets who Harry is when, you know, he's not a major part in anything. Oh, come on. It's like the portrait didn't even know that was Harry. Who would, who would even use Polyjuice Potion to be Harry? Except in the seventh movie. Liberty Jibbit. I really hate it when Harry does that. You open something, you, and he turns around for a second, and it ah, just... You finally made it there. It's like he wants to get caught. Mum's gonna kill Ron when she finds out. I bet it was worth it to see Snape's face when you landed. Um, sort of. Anyway, welcome to our shop, Harry. Yes, yes. Feel free to browse our extensive range. Fred, Fred just agreeing. Yes. That pause stone between the sentence. Thirty bucks every flavor beats. We're sure there's something here you'll like. I'm sure there is too. I think there's something around here that is useful at some point, but I don't know if I can actually afford it yet. Hang on. This is a bathroom, right? Then. They do have a bathroom, well, toilets men mainly, but they do have a bathroom around the um, common room. Yeah, this is what I need. 80. And I don't have 80, I have 50. So I need the thing that gives me more, or allows me to carry more. How much is a pack of no. I don't want a stink pellet bag. I want the thing that allows me to carry more beans. Is that around here anywhere? Alright, let's just buy that. Shut them up. And let's leave. Seriously, Percy just... Percy isn't even being disturbed. He's not even doing anything. He's walking around. But then again, I suppose I've got to give him credit for not treating Harry any differently just because he's the boy who lived. So, that's good. Okay, Harry. It's been a long day. Really tired. That I can agree with. Hermione, are you, do you want to have a talk or something? I didn't want a lecture and we didn't have any other choice. Has the first lesson got something to do with charms maybe? Or... I don't think it's Defense Against the Dark Arts yet, that might be the second. Could be Quidditch, and we have to do that practice thing. So, what is the first lesson? Morning, Ron. Yeah, well, flying. First. I heard it's flying. You heard right. I'll meet you downstairs in the entrance hall. Again, meet. Wait, why don't we just walk together? Is Ron too good for Harry now? Oh, hello. Haven't you got an actual lesson, Percy? 
Unless he's got that free period they get in sixth year. What year is Percy in? In the second year? Well, when Harry's in his second year. I know Fred and George are two years older than them, so right now they should be in their fourth year. So Percy might either be a year older or another two years. But if it's a year older, then he should be in his fifth year, which would make him head boy. Or the prefect or something. But if he's two years, then that should mean he'd be in his sixth year. Hello, Nick. What's the matter? Uh, a matter of no importance. It's just that some properly decapitated Podmore won't let me join the headless hunt. Apparently, they only accept huntsmen whose heads have completely... Passed. He says it's a matter of no importance, yet he, t he talks about it anyway. Not to worry, young Potter. As I said, it's a matter of... Then I shall move on right now. Okay. Why was he floating there in the first place? Like, he was just waiting for Harry. Hello, Harry. Let's go outside to the flying pit. Okay. We don't want Madame Hoots to be angry with us on our first day. Isn't she always angry? Alright, we're going... Okay, we're going that way. I'll meet you outside the flying pit. Well, maybe I should just go in front of you because I'm going to be the one doing the whole lesson anyway. And you lot are just going to stand there and watch which is probably like the whole day welcome to flying class welcome to second year flying although you all apparently learned to fly last year the apparently is directed at you mr Longbottom. there's no need to bully him like that mr potter would you please He's completely come out of him the basics? i don't think he wanted to be reminded to be honest please would you fly up slowly I don't particularly want to, but okay. I really don't. Okay. Um. This is probably an annoying part of the game, but I wouldn't say it's completely frustrating. Unless it's an actual Quidditch match, then it is. Well done, Potter. I think you're ready to take this year's flying exam. Already? You have approximately two and a half minutes to fly through as many rings as you can. Your course through the rings will get progressively more difficult, and only the most expert flyers ever manage to complete it. Oh really? I'm guessing James managed to complete it. He's just got to the school and Madame Hooch is already giving him an exam. You know, he goes through a couple of hoops and goes up and down and then she immediately says, All right, you are ready for an exam. Here's a broom. Fly through these hoops in two and a half minutes. Not even had a Quidditch match or anything like that, just straight into the exam. Although I do like it when you get your own broom, which is after the first practice or something like that. Which doesn't make me a better flyer because it's still annoying to control this thing. Oh, and we're running out of time. The ticking is really off-putting. Like, barely close to the end of the time. Okay. I'm already messing up. Harry, go forward. Thank you. I don't know what it is about these red hoops. They just seem harder to go through. I don't think I'm doing too badly. I don't know if I can do any better than this. I might not find out. If you don't give Harry a good grade for this, I'm going to shoot a spell at you. And it will be the Killing Curse, which Harry could have learned from the book he got from the Flourishing Vots. Or the one from um, 
We're all gonna book. A plus, thank you. Do I get health points for that? Um no. Okay. Seventy nine rings, I don't think that's that bad. Oh, eighty health points. Great. Uh um why was he walking like that? I'm off to bed. See you later. You're exhausted. You're tired. I'm sorry. Did you see one fly through 79 hoops? I don't think so. And how was watching Harry do that tiring or exhausting as he put it? Oh my god. Harry has just been impaled. All right, well, just gonna ignore that. And can I? Mr. Potter. Yeah, that's my name. Oh wait, I can. There should be something over here. Unless I can't get it yet. No, it doesn't seem like I can get it yet because I haven't seen it on the notice board but there is something i need around here um it's like one of the lost property things but while i'm out i think i may as well go to the herbology place or i could do that during the night when um harry needs to go over there anyway which should probably be that night yeah end day Gryffindor is in the lead. Probably not, to be honest. Wait, what did Slytherin get? I didn't see that. They got 40. It's only the first day. What did Hufflepuff get? 75. That's not bad. Why did Ravenclaw only get 40? 80. Slytherin okay, Slytherin might have got 85 or 90. Okay, but here's a question. Why is Dumbledore grading me on how many house points I get? A C. A grade C for 80 points. I don't recall Draco flying through 79 hoops, Dumbledore. You know, and I can't say favouritism because he does favour Harry over anyone, but why can't he just do what he did at the end of the first year and be like, I'm awarding this amount of house points to Harry for courage or bravery of being Harry, you know, breaking rules, killing a teacher, and turning Voldemort into nothing. Okay, I suppose we should go and see what the problem is. Hello, Hermione. You've been standing there. Why did Hermione do that? That was kind of scary. To be honest, I wouldn't say that's dreadful. At least he can breathe in there. It's a whole room. He's acting like it's just a wall behind there. No, I've tried everything. We need a severing charm. And why don't you know it? And where am I going to find one of those at this time of night? The Bonnetty Green has three in the grounds. Except, to get in, you're going to have to find out how to pull up cork nuts. If you go to the library, there's an excellent book by Professor Lockhart. Oh, no. That will tell you how to do it. Okay, so I've got to go into the library on the library floor, grounds herbology and then all the way back. Okay, well, I'm going back to bed, which I can't do anyway, so I guess I'm going this way. All right, what was it? The second floor we had to go to to go to the library and get the 
bell to pull up that thing. Oh look, the girls' bathroom. Totally won't need to go in there later. Reading room. It's not the golden door. Uh, I think that comes later. For getting something. If I do that, oh no. Oh, I thought they would come down here. I'm sure there's someone sneaking around here. Nope, there isn't. Harry is invisible. Hang on. He has an invisibility cloak. I just remembered that. Why didn't he use that instead of... Did he use it at all in the second movie? Probably not. But why couldn't he have used his invisibility cloak? I mean, that's why he has it, right? I think that's the book we need. In other times I've played this, I just realised that I never went straight to the book because for some reason I never saw it. I don't know if that makes sense, but I was I was always looking around sort of over here trying to find it when obviously it's not over there. It's It was straight ahead. Okay, avoiding you. And now I kind of... I feel like this bit's a little bit harder because you have to go back and maybe if I try and do it the way I did when I came in. I'm sure there's someone sneaking around here. Oh no. I'm sure Bye. There's someone around here. Okay, I made it. Hey. I actually wasn't sure if that would work because they were right there. Hey. Oh come here. on. No, I'm not hey. losing health points. I'm not losing house points. And they should go that way. Alright, now. Oh, no, 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 no. That was... I did it at the wrong time. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Again, blame Hermione. Right, maybe I need to wait for him to go fully past. Alright, can you hurry up? Okay, now. Alright, that worked. There is a prefect outside, but they're easy to get past. You just have to hide behind the wall until they go. I tend to wait until they go past you towards the doors and then I run. Alright, so I just need to go over here. I love how he's just walking like it's a casual trip during the night. Alright, and I just have to go straight ahead and probably try and avoid the fog or mist, whatever you want to call that. Because I do not want to deal with those wolf things again. And the thing I'm actually looking for is straight over here. Brilliant. And that will give um, that will give us some more house points. I'm not gonna lie, I like the castle at night. It doesn't, it looks nice. But we have to go in here. And this is the bit where we're actually safe because, you know, there are no prefects. The only thing that can hurt or kill us are those plant things and, well, they won't kill us. Yep, there you go. Hit them, pick them, throw them. And then run into them. I don't think we ever actually have to do a lesson for herbology in this game. Alright, um, I need to go over there. And now I can't see anything. That really helps.
all right we have the book that i need for what is it the severing charm Harry just absorbs all the spells. Yeah. And now the only thing we need to do now is get back inside the castle. Preferably without being caught. Harry, pick that up. And now run. Run. Okay. But getting back into the castle, the camera angle goes all funny and it's kind of hard to see. Because I try and hide from them while they go past otherwise they'll just see me and then well i'll end up losing more house points which i need to try and avoid and there is a sort of cheat to that you just save the game before you do something and then if you get caught quit the game go back and then it will take you back to before you lose the point oh okay there is a prefect there and Oh, really? It's fine. Harry can r outrun them. Are you still chasing me? Ah, okay, you are. Please leave me alone. I am trying to rescue my friend who just wanted his toad. I think Neville deserved better, to be honest. I mean, he was completely humiliated in the part, in the flying class, because Madam Hooch isn't nice. Although, in the first movie, you know, when Neville actually gets her, she seemed to care. After that point, she just didn't care anymore. Please tell me the prefect isn't outside, unless I can quickly hit him with a spell. But I'm not sure if that will actually work. I swear I just heard growling. Alright, if I see the prefect... I don't really know what side he's gone. So this is sort of the bit that makes it a little bit hard. Shall I just go? You know what, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna risk it, I don't really care. Because... Oh wait, no. He's right there. He's right there. <laughs> kind of hard to see where I'm running if the camera keeps going funny and then I can't see anything right I think he's gone now he either went in the tunnel or he turned some sort of corner wait there are two why did I not know that before all right I can I'm looking at the one in the tunnel are you gonna go? Because that guy is coming back. But you know what? I'm just gonna attack you because I can't. Oh, that prefect was just standing by the tunnel. I tried to attack him, but he didn't really do anything. Maybe I really did break him. No. Now all I need to do is get past the prefects in the Great Hall, which is gonna be the problem I think. I don't really want to do the saving cheat. I have to figure this out on my own. You know what, I'm gonna hide over here. Oh okay, <laughs> that did not work. Alright, I'm gonna try hiding by the hourglass again. If that doesn't work I suppose I will just run, attack and hope for the best. And if I lose points, I'm not really going to be worried about it because I can just earn them back by collecting the lost items for those people. Alright, let's try hiding behind this one, maybe. I can just about see. And I'm going to try and wait for that prefect to go past there. Alright, let's go. Please work. Because I know that other prefect's going to be coming any minute. Hey, yeah. You. Run, run. Okay, we made it. The only other prefect I need to get past now is the one by the um, portrait hole to get into the common room. 
which isn't even that hard. Just gotta go the opposite way that he does. Oh, no. A ghost has been petrified. The chamber of secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air beware. Harry did it. There's no point trying to defend yourself. You have no proof that you didn't do it. I mean, what's he going to say? I was running around the castle at night when he's not supposed to, when he knows that. Or even better, he could have said, I had to go and get something to help Neville, who is stuck behind a portrait. Or a tapestry, rather. Where he came across the sorting hat. You've been wondering whether I put you in the right house. Yeah, you were particularly difficult to place. But I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. And he also discovered Forks, Professor Dumbledore's pet thieves. Fascinating creatures. Can the sorting hat read mine, Sam? If it knew, Harry was won wondering that. Why do I feel like this Dumbledore in this game is kind of scary? I think it's the eyes. The way he speaks. Yes, Neville was stuck behind a tapestry. I'm sorry, that cut, it, no, it's the zoom in to his face that was, that's scary. Okay, forget about the fact Harry can hear voices. He just should have said, Neville is stuck behind a tapestry. I needed to get something to help him. And then Dumbledore could have followed Harry back to Hermione and helped him. Or Harry could have just gone to Dumbledore in the first place. Or Neville could have just found something to lay on and slept in there. Although I feel like they would have just forgotten about him by the morning. I must have been hearing things. You probably were. Alright. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I'm tired. Ooh, what was that? Thanks, Harry. I thought I was never gonna get out of there. Nice one, Harry. Well, all this excitement has worn me out. Why does Hermione keep doing that? For Hermione! Nearly had his nick has been attacked and I Oh, I'll, I'll tell you in the morning. And we just get another wizard's card for it. Twelve. And now this is our thirteenth. See, if that was in the room with Neville, why didn't he just get it himself? I'm sorry, but Neville was acting like he was stuck behind a wall. There is a whole room here. All right. Um. I think. Yep. End the day. So are you on my side or are you not on my side? I mean, it's Neville, so he probably is on my side, but he's basically saying, I don't think you had anything to do with it, but I wouldn't know because I wasn't there. And the fact that he was stuck behind a tapestry Stop it. in Stop it. a Ouch. room. Please don't, Harry. Why? Okay, goodbye. Hello, Hermione. Let me guess, defense against the dark arts. It's defense against the dark arts, Harry. With Gildor and Lockhart, I can't wait. I can. Hmm, me neither. Harry's sarcasm.
It seemed like Hermione was just acting so casual. Okay, Harry, we've gone through this. I don't know either. But it seemed like Hermione was acting so casual, just walking away, and then just when she thought we couldn't see her, just started running. All right, how many health points do we get for this? Oh, we have 85. You're welcome. I'm guessing the next one is by the flying lesson ground place. Yeah, Gryffindor merit badge. I think I'm going to leave it there. I will pick this up another time. Comment any other games you want me to do. And if you enjoyed, give this video a like, hit the subscribe button and press the bell to be informed when I upload. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.